Okay, so get this. Uh, I imagine building AI, but like based on the brain of a tiny worm. Yeah, you heard that right. A worm. And uh, get this. They just got a massive $250 million investment, which like propelled them to unicorn status in just two years. It's crazy. So, so what is this all about? We're diving deep today into Liquid AI, a startup that's fresh out of MIT, and they're taking on giants like Google and OpenAI. But with a radically different approach, they're not building these massive power-hungry AI models with billions of parameters. They're uh, returning to nature, specifically the brain of the Canarhab Didus elegans worm. So you might be wondering, like, why a worm? I know I was. But this little creature's brain is incredible. Even though it only has 302 neurons, it's super adaptable and efficient. It can navigate complex environments, find food, and even learn from its experiences, which is exactly what Liquid AI is aiming for. AI that's lean, mean, and incredibly efficient. So they create something called Liquid Neural Networks, which mimic the worm's brain structure. A liquid neural network with just 19 neurons successfully identify key driving cues, like the horizon and road edges. And it actually outperformed larger, more traditional models that got bogged down by like irrelevant details. Pretty impressive, right? This tiny worm inspired system is proving that sometimes smaller is smarter, especially when it comes to AI where efficiency is becoming more and more crucial. Um, what do you think? Like, is this the future of AI? Are we all going to be using worm-brained AI soon? So Liquid AI isn't just like copying a worm's brain. They've taken that biological inspiration and really built on it. They've developed some pretty groundbreaking technologies. Like uh, one of them is called Liquid Foundation Models, or LFMs for short. Now, traditional AI models are often kind of static and rigid. They need tons of data and retraining to adapt to new tasks. But LFMs are different. They're designed to be much more dynamic, just like the systems we see in nature. So imagine like a LFM powering a robot navigating a busy city street. Right, it needs to process all this new information constantly, like pedestrians, traffic lights, other vehicles. And it has to adjust its course like in real time. And that's where LFMs really shine. They can process that information as it comes in and adapt their behavior on the fly without needing to be constantly retrained. It's kind of like the difference between a fixed train route and a self-driving car that can navigate any road you throw at it. Pretty cool, huh? And, and there's more. They also developed something called STAR, which stands for Scalable Transformer Alternative Representations. Think of STAR as like the engine that makes these LFMs even more powerful and efficient, because traditional AI models often struggle with large amounts of data. They need a ton of computing power and memory, which can be a real bottleneck. But STAR models, they're designed to handle huge data sets without breaking a sweat. They use these clever techniques, like adaptive linear operators, which are kind of like smart filters that focus on the most important information, and weight sharing which allows different parts of the model to share information more efficiently. So what does that mean in practice? Well, let's say you're analyzing a complex scientific paper or trying to understand a long audio recording. These tasks involve processing long sequences of information, something that traditional AI models often find challenging. But star models, they're built to handle these kinds of tasks with ease. They can sift through mountains of data and extract the most relevant insights, opening up a whole new world of possibilities for AI applications. And the applications are already like popping up everywhere. We're talking uh, autonomous drones that can detect wildfires, systems that analyze patient genomes for personalized healthcare. Liquid AI's tech is even being used in telecommunications, finance, consumer electronics, biotech, you name it. So, so what does this all mean? I think it means that Liquid AI isn't just building another AI company. You know, they're challenging the very foundation of how we think about artificial intelligence. They're proving that bigger isn't always better. And that sometimes the most unexpected sources of inspiration, like a tiny worm, can lead to the biggest breakthroughs. And they're also proving that efficiency and adaptability can totally go hand in hand with power, which is huge, especially in a world that's increasingly concerned with the environmental impact of technology. This focus on lean, efficient AI is like a breath of fresh air. But here's where it gets really interesting. If a worm brain can inspire such powerful AI, what other unexpected sources of inspiration might be out there? Right. Like, could the intricate dance of a bee colony unlock new secrets for swarm robotics? Could the echolocation of a bat revolutionize how we navigate and map the world? Liquid AI's journey is a reminder that innovation often comes from looking beyond the obvious, from questioning our assumptions, and from embracing the unexpected. It's a reminder that the natural world, with its billions of years of evolution, is a treasure trove of brilliant solutions just waiting to be discovered. So as you go about your day, Keep your eyes open for the unexpected. You never know where the next big idea might come from. It could be from a worm, a bird, or even just a simple observation of the world around us. The key is to stay curious, keep exploring, and never stop questioning. And who knows, maybe you'll be the one to unlock the next big breakthrough in AI.